Hey, what's going on guys? So, been pretty crazy, pretty busy, changing employment. A lot of stuff's been happening here lately. You know, I've been working on doing a lot of projects and stuff and it just never stops. I'm really bad about recording my finds or what I'm doing because I just get so caught up in my work, but, or my hobby. But I've sold a few of these already. And with the money that I've got from selling a few of these, I sold a switch light kiosk. Um, and then I sold uh, that uh, Amiibo thing that I had in the corner. I sold that and I sold, I sold a few things. And so with all that money that I sold a few things, I bought other things. So I found another blue Nintendo Neon. Uh, this is from Twisted Gaming. He's uh, He does YouTube, I think it was Chris. Uh, he does YouTube and stuff. So I know him from the community pretty well. And so we get along. And so I bought that from him. And then another guy in my area recently reached out to me and said, hey, I got a GameCube kiosk and a Wii kiosk. So that was on a Sunday morning. We agreed to the deal. I went and picked them up, took them apart. As you can see, I have pieces here. I have all of the GameCube stuff inside, but I have everything. So a while back, I had a full size that I sold, and I, I did a video on that when I was taking it apart, shipping it. So that served me very well in taking this one apart and bringing it home, because before when I did it the first time, I took it all apart. But this time I only took it partially apart. Got the t original TV, has everything on the kiosk, like the console, everything on there. Even has the front TV bracket that was missing on mine, and it has the back TV bracket that was missing on mine, and has much better sides than mine were all, you know, really bad. This one that I got does have damage on the sides, but it's not as noticeable, not as bad. So I'm so glad with that. Um, now, when I got the Wii kiosk, what really got to me wanting to grab it is it has the original TV and the original connectors, which these are the um, component connectors and they're originals. Now that does have components, but it's not the original TV and stuff like that. And this one looks like they had stuck stickers on there. So it has Zelda and Wario. So I'm really glad with that. So one of these has got to go. I don't know which one yet. I've got to decide what I'm going to do and go from there. I got keys with it as well, so I'm glad to have keys. So I'm going to have a lot of spare Wii keys as well. I didn't have a key on the GameCube, but I'm going to try to test to see if the small GameCube key works on here. If it does, then great. If not, I'll have to ask around. And the last thing, the guy, when I bought both the GameCube and the Wii, uh, he gave me this, which I think is really, really cool. He's like, yeah, just you can have it. And this is the Super Mario Maker sign that goes on the side of the Wii U kiosk, right down there. Now, most of these that you find, because when Wii U went, you know, out of circulation as far as the kiosk goes and they got rid of them, they all have that triple sign, mostly. Either there's two variations of the same thing. And so most of you're gonna find are gonna have that. Well, now I can stick this on there and this will look pretty pretty cool stand. I wish it was like 3D land or whatever, but Mario Maker, I'm a huge fan of it. So this is so, gl I'm so glad that I was able to, you know, get this and recognize what it was. Cause he didn't know what it was too. And I was like, no, no, this is for the Wii U kiosk, bro. And so he let me have it. He's like, yeah, I'm just gonna take all this gunk off with a uh, goo gone. And I'll probably use Velcro. I'll take that one off there. And I'll probably stick this one on. It's probably one of the few kiosks that's gonna have this. Cause I know there was a Splatoon one, there was a 3D Land one. There was different versions that were just like only for this, but I guess people weren't really collecting the signs or they were getting thrown out and not many of them were saved. So I'll be lucky to, one of the lucky few to have an actual sign like this to go with the Wii U kiosk. Like you see there, I have the white and the black header on mine. I did that, you know, cause I thought it was really cool that they made two different uh, signage for it. but. I'm going to go inside and I'm going to show you what I'm going to do inside with my uh, dome kiosk. Hopefully it's an experiment. Video might get released, might not get released all the way through, but I'm going to try and experiment on the dome because the dome is kind of dirty. So I'm going to try to brighten it up, make it look a little clearer like this right here. And so let's see if that works. All right, I've been at this uh, last night for a little while. So I've cleaned all the parts. I like using this to clean plastic. It's a protectant. Uh, and it UV protection and it shines. Um, I found a LED replacement, but I will have to take this apart at a later time. I gotta take out the, the ballast that's in there to make this all work. But regardless, 
I've cleaned it all out, took all the mess that's out, so now it's in a much cleaner state all in there. It's in really good shape. You know, there's the, dark, the darker brown from, you know, from the fluorescence cooking the plastic, but overall it's in really good shape. There's only one crack here. Um, I do have the original piece, so what I can do is I can put a washer. I can glue this together, put a washer, and, and then uh, that'll make it stick and be in a better sh position. There's a few cracks here and there, which are very common, but overall it's in very solid shape. And then there's the uh, dome there. I've cleaned it up. So everything's in really, really nice, good shape. I'm going to be missing some screws, so whoever messed with this at some time did not know what they were doing so i'll probably have to uh, go to the hardware store and replace some of these screws luckily i've been to lowe's and i've been able to find these type of screws i just have to get the right lengths but overall i'll be able to piece this together to be really really nice all right guys i need to finish off the video and show off that they've been fully assembled and put back together now I haven't swapped out to LEDs on this one yet. I'm not in a rush to do it. It still has the original bulb, but they always fail and flicker and turn on and off whenever they want, so I'm not gonna worry about it. Um, it's just a generic console in there with uh, the demo discs, which I have the demo discs for Zelda, Twilight Princess, and Skyward Sword, but not a big deal. You guys have seen that before. And then I've got, of course, my Wii U kiosk fully complete. And I've got the really nice GameCube kiosk fully complete with the front marquee i have the back to close off the tv i have every nothing's missing on this one um and you can see the sides are in really really good shape this is actually better shape than the one that i had before which the sides are starting to fall off and everything it does have the original lights in it still but i will convert to led at a later point i'm just not in a rush to do it you can see there that looks really really good and all the plastics are really, really good shape here. Nothing, the other one, the only one I had before, the plastic was much more cooked. And this one, you can see that it's not as in bad shape. So this, this is a much better condition than the one I had before. But I have these, still have the magazine racks there. I still have this one here, which is an amazing, this one's like a new shape, honestly. It was never in a store. Uh, but I'm glad that now I have my whole wall of kiosks that I have now. Not sold a few, bought a few, but now I have these kiosks here that are 100% condition. Uh, nothing wrong with them, nothing missing on them. So I'm really glad to have this now. But let's see what else I found down the road. It's been a crazy year. Let's see what goes on next.